What is up guys? Jake here with our next Vainglory video and instead of narrating through the action on this one I'm just going to sort of talk about the game and uh, what I think of it. I've been playing it probably for I don't know maybe three weeks now something like that. Uh, so I've, I'm starting to get more into it and uh, understand more about it and what I like about it what I don't like about it. So that's what this video is going to be about just sort of me going on. I might comment on something that's going on in the background but uh, for the most part just my thoughts on the game. Again, this is the first MOBA that I've ever played, this style of game. I've never played League of Legends or anything like that, so I had no background, didn't know what to expect, and really didn't know at all what I was getting into when I started playing it. And for the most part, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed, you know, competitive type games, and this is the essence of competition in, in gaming, really, is just, you know, three on three. Uh, there's the beautiful part about it is that there's no grinding, there's no leveling up, there's nothing like that. When you hit start, you have the same tools at your disposal as someone that's been playing since launch and is the best player in the world. You start at the same level, you can get the same abilities, you can get the same characters. Now, yes, you have to unlock them, but really, really simply, you can get any character in the game. And then you can also have all the abilities, you know, by the end of the match, if you do the right things so it's as pure as it gets when it comes to strategy and skill there's nothing that allows someone else to have the advantage because they they've been here longer or they put the time in other than the skill and knowledge that they've developed so if you're just very good at this you're going to be good at it immediately once you get a grasp of the game and the characters and their abilities there's nothing again that you have to grind or level or weighed and put all the time and, and effort into it's just learning how to play and so to me there's a lot of beauty in that uh, the competition is so pure that there's no there's no advantage or disadvantage it's just you now that being said because it is three on three it's not one on one or anything like that obviously the team comes into play hugely if you've got uh, even one player on your team that's not carrying his weight you're probably going to lose that that match unless the other team's just pretty bad so what the frustration that i have found in this game is it's not the game itself it's more so the the lack of having a team i don't i don't play with the people regularly and i'm sure that when i'm going to a match if i'm against people that do play together regularly or have some sort of uh they're on team speak or some sort of voice communication or they're in the same room or whatever they have a tremendous advantage over me and that is frustrating because i'm just hitting search and getting what I'm getting. Sometimes you get a good team, sometimes you get a really bad team. And once you get a really bad team, there's probably nothing more frustrating in the world than you know trying to gut it out and finish that match because you don't want to quit the match. You don't want that bad feedback on your account. But there's nothing more frustrating than having to just sort of suck it up and deal with it. And that's the part that you know I, I commented that my wife sort of gets on to me about, uh, you know, because I, I get in a bad mood. I mean, I, I don't like to lose at, at anything. And when you get someone that's just really screwing up and hurting the team, uh, it's tough. So if, you, if you're going to play this game, I think eventually you'll get to the point and you'll, and you'll, get, you'll develop a team. You'll develop friends that actually play the game and, and you're going to have more fun at it that way. Uh, so I, I recommend trying to do that. I know that I haven't done it yet, but there, I know there's clans or guilds or whatever they're calling it out there that allow people to, you know, I'm sure group me chats or, or bindle chats or whatever. Uh, knowing each other are playing. Obviously, you have friends list in the game, so that's a big uh, a big advantage if you can do that or you know some people that are playing the game. I think you're gonna have a lot more fun doing it that way. And obviously, if you want to get into the competitive side, you know I know this game. I haven't started watching them yet. I'm sure I will because I'm sure I'll pick up some great tips and and tricks from it. But this game has very competitive. I have tournaments. They have I guess the whole esport type situation. Uh, you know, any MOBA game like that is, is going to go that direction. So the the sky's the limit, you know, where, where you can go as, take it as far as you want to. Get as competitive as you want to. Uh, and if again, if you're good at it, I think you're going to have all those opportunities. And there's a lot of people out there to play with. The other thing is, is the the complexity of this game, of the builds, of the care, of the heroes, and how, how in-depth you can actually go with it. Because, I mean, there's just... It's unbelievable. Like I've got guys that are commenting on my videos, which I do appreciate, by the way. You guys know I'm no expert at this. Uh, giving me tips, and I'm playing it in game, and I'm, it's it, they're right. You know, I'm making mistakes. Not obviously, I'm making mistakes in my gameplay, but even more so in my, than my gameplay, I'm making mistakes in my build, and it does make a huge difference. 
So there's just so much depth to this game. There's so much strategy, and it just again, it's such a pure, uh, a pure version of that. So I think you guys will really like it if you give it a try. If you, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably have already tried it. If not, go ahead and do it. Just download it. It's not something again that you have to. Uh, you're going to start off going against people that are pretty bad. That's a good and a bad thing. The the one one the first things that I've sort of said, okay, this I really wish this would be changed in this game, is just that how you are matched up with people. As a person that just hits the search button all by yourself, you don't have a team. It's very hard to climb the ladder, the, the tiers, as they call it in this game, to get out of those lower rung tiers because you are going to get matched with some or paired with some bad people. And I'm sure there's a like I said, a lot of people that are playing with a regular team that they're used to. They know what each other are gonna do and they're they're gonna beat you. So as soon as they beat you, your tier drops down. And, and it's a struggle to try to get out of that, to get out of the the sucky players into better players when you're doing it all by yourself. So that's one thing I wish they would change. I wish it wasn't based so much on win win or loss, which it is. You know, if you win, you get if your team wins, you get raised up regardless of your performance. Uh, if you lose, you get lowered regardless of your performance. So I think it it should be a more individual sport, I guess is the best way to say it. You know, if, if I do a really good job and I have a, a lot of kills and a few deaths and, and did a, a nice job and I just happen to get teamed up with some bad players, I don't feel like that should lower my tier as much at, or if at all, honestly. You know, if I have a guy on my team that's got one kill and 16 deaths, how does that reflect negatively on me just because the game matched me up with that person? Uh, that's that's my main gripe in this game at, at the moment. Uh, I wish there was some way they would change it. I'm sure they're not going to, if they or they would have. Uh, and maybe I'll crawl, you know, I'll, I'll crawl my way out once I get a little better and I can start actually carrying a team. Maybe then then you'll see some, uh, you know, some higher tier gameplay coming from me. Because right now I'm in like tier three. I'll, I'll get close to tier four, then I'll fall back down because I get some bad matchups or bad teams. And it's, you know, again, it's fr that's the frustrating part is, is doing that. You'll see me making stupid mistakes in the background. I still make them. You know, I'm not the expert uh, for sure. But I feel like most of the time I'm one of the better players on my team. And that's that's always frustrating. I wish I was on uh, guys that were better than me and were teaching me things and not just sort of causing me to stay at tier three. That's the way I feel. Again, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes. I make mistakes in this game. I uh, make mistakes in every game that I play. So I guess when I stop doing that, maybe my tier will raise just naturally. And I'll and I'll be up there with, with better players, and it'll be a more enjoyable experience. But besides that, there's not a lot to change, guys. The balance is there. I mean, you know, the teams are so – it's so strange how the teams – that's another thing that I'm learning, how they the heroes interact with each other. And, you know, you'll – certain teams that I would think are, aren't good turn out to be a very good team. So uh, it's just a matter, again, of just – Playing, practicing, learning not only what your heroes can do, but what the, what the heroes that you're playing with can do. That's something that I know I've got to pick up on because I don't know, outside of Ringo, uh, Taka, and and Catherine, I don't even know what the other heroes' abilities do. And that just takes time, and I've got to get in there and do it. And you guys know from that watch me on my other channel, I'm short on time. You know, I'm fully dedicated to Clash of Clans. That's what my main my main channel is about, and that's what I my favorite game. So that's where my focus is. But when you're playing other games like this, yeah, I, I want to be good at them. You know, I don't want to uh, be a nub at this game forever. So hopefully, I learn those things. I start picking up on them, and before long, I will uh, I'll have it sort of all hammered out and and be much better. And, and hopefully, the content will be better for you guys once that happens. You know, I, I think anytime I play a game, at least I always want to look for people that can teach me something when they're playing. Uh, I want to be entertained, but I also want to learn as I'm as I'm watching a YouTube video. And right now, I probably can't teach you guys much unless you are a straight up beginner. Uh, but you know, hopefully that'll change in the in the near future, and we'll we'll get into some higher level stuff. And and you guys might uh, join me with that. And you know, who knows? We'll probably even play some together. I'm accepting all friend requests on this. So if you see me on, you know, throw me an, uh, an invite to a party or whatever, and we'll we'll play together. I, I don't mind at all because again, I'm not like an elitist or a snob. I, I'm very new at this game, and and I, I might drag you down. You might get on my team and say, "Well, Jake sucks. You know, he needs to he needs to be practicing on this," which I do. But pretty much that's all about that I have to say about the game at this point. 
I am enjoying it still. It's something that I, I look forward to jumping on and, and playing a match. Uh, but then when you get that crappy team, it's sort of like you want to throw your iPad against the wall. So we'll see. Again, I, I think I'll get better. Hopefully my teams will get better. And I, I am going to look towards, you know, joining a casual type clan or guild or whatever they call it. I don't even know where to look yet. But I know those things are out there. So we'll see. Uh, if, you, if you guys know of one or have one and you would – like a nub in yours, uh, hit me up in the comments. Maybe I'll, I'll join yours for a while and, and help see if it works out we, we're, for a good fit for each other. Uh, besides that, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the gameplay in the background right here. We, we did win this match, and I did make some changes to the build that I've been using, and I do like it. Uh, I did a little research on the chronograph and the spell reuse, and for some reason, or the ability reuse, for some reason I was thinking the it was really helping me and it turns out it was just shaving a second or two off and obviously for that kind of gold that I was spending on it uh, getting me any type of defense which I've sort of done I get my tension bow my um, aftershock and then I'll just grab some defense you know because I think that allows me to live that extra one or two seconds uh, in a tough fight and get those abilities back up so I have been enjoying that and thank you for the tip uh, that came one of the comments that I was probably wasting uh, some gold on that and I think that the comment was probably correct so again, I, I'm not above suggestions and I'm not above learning. I am relatively new to this game for sure, uh, just a few weeks in. But we're about to close this one out here. Uh, we take out a few more kills here. I'm racking up the kills at this point. Six, uh, only two deaths and eight assists. So uh, the is it Glaive there? I think Glaive on my team was really good. Is that Glaive? I think it is. Uh, was really good this this match. Uh, like to play with him more. Who is that there? Apathist. Really good job, man. If you watch the video, uh, I was impressed. I just sort of followed him around, let him sort of take the hits, and I, I jumped on him and killed him. And he got a lot of the kill shots, too, because I would just beat him down, and then he finishes him off with a, with a swing or so. So it was fun playing with him. Uh, it was fun, fun match. Hope you guys enjoyed it in the background while I rambled on about Vainglory. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.